Hello, this is Matt from TracyMatt.co.uk and here I am looking at the Sony Cybershop DSC QX10, uh, one of two lens cameras that uh, Sony have on the market at the moment, the other being the DSC uh, QX100. So, I'll do a quick unboxing and a little demo video, hopefully, uh, of this so we can see what it's all about. So, first of all, let's open the box and we'll pull out the lens itself. I'm going to come back to that in just a second. In terms of what else we have in the box, we have a hefty looking manual uh, which uh, is in a variety of different languages, around 10 languages there, hence how chunky it is. We then have uh, the kind of getting started guide by the looks of it, which I'll leaflet on how it all kind of goes together. And have a registration document, something else, which is another flimsy piece of paper in relation to the warranty. And another thing which is about the European document guarantee document. And then is a Sony uh, guide or registration document. Well we're doing well for documentation. Uh, what else we have? We have a wrist strap. A cable, which is a micro USB to USB cable. That also that's so that we can sync our copy of the files and charge. There's a tiny little battery, which is a 630 milliamp hour battery. And then what else do we have? We have a. That's about it. That's all that's in the box. We have. Uh, what's this? The lens cap or something else? Oh, this is the uh, spring-loaded back cover, so we we'll need that in a second. So let's go to the lens itself. So yeah, this is a lens camera, uh, which is um, kind of a unique uh, idea. So what we have here is what looks like the front lens from uh, you know, a sort of high-end compact camera, and you can see obviously the zoom rings there. Um, but what Sony have done is taken that com that lens element from a compact camera, basically, and put in an optical sensor in the back of it, the LCD sensor in the back of it, um, and combined it into one little unit. And then we'll just take this piece off the side because it's annoying. Combine it into one unit. Uh, put a couple of uh, well, put a memory card slot in there, and Wi-Fi and NFC. Um, you obviously notice there's no viewfinder. Uh, I combined it all into one little package. Uh, and with that package, we can use our mobile phone, be it an Android or an iPhone, or indeed a tablet, uh, and give ourselves a really good camera instead of a you know, 4 megapixel or an 8 megapixel camera. We got ourselves an 18 megapixel camera with an a, a 10 times zoom. So an 18 megapixel and a 10 times zoom is pretty good and uh, pretty much trounces all over any other camera, phone, phone camera out there. So, back cover slides open, as you can see, and we have space for our little battery. And here's a tiny little battery, it weighs nothing at all. And that pops in there. Uh, we've got a space here, which is a dual socket that supports an M2 um, micro card or a SD HC memory card um, and I believe we do support up to 64 gig memory cards but uh, certainly 32s. That cover then pops back on and then this bit, uh, this is the, I, know, I guess well it's all kind of clever but the clever a bit. So this is our spring loaded holder. Now I'll come back to that in just a second. So that closes up. The that pops on the back, should pop on the back, like so, and that's the whole thing. So that's a pretty pretty lightweight, pretty compact, that's all, all, all now together. You'll notice there's a thread on the bottom, quarter inch for putting it on a camera tripod, so it can you know, tripod mount it. On the side we have a zoom control, and then the shutter release button. There's a little socket there which is the micro USB sync charge socket 
On the top we have the power button and a little NFC logo. And to the side, uh, that's the thing to lock and unlock the side, I think. Yep, so that's what unlocks the back there. And that's everything all the way around. So this bit, these couple of arms, the idea of this is that we can just open that up and there we go. Put it on the put it on our phone like so, um, and it holds it in place. And it's quite secure actually. I must admit I was concerned that how secure that might be. That really is quite secure. That's not going to fall off in a hurry, so that's quite good. Uh, that was a concern. So they just fold shut, and then obviously that can just pop in your pocket. Um, connects to the phone over Wi-Fi direct, and we use NFC for pairing. So let's see if we can get this set up. So I have my trusty HTC One here, and let's see if we can just pop in here and get things up and running. So in order to make this work, we have to go to the Play Store, and as I say, this will work on an Android, uh, an iPhone as well. The app we're looking for is Play Store Mobile. Play, sorry, Play Memories Mobile. So let's go ahead and install that. And uh, haven't tried this at all before, so let's see how quickly this sets up and how intuitive it is. I've got a rough idea of how to do it. So let's go ahead and install that. There we are. That's installed. Uh, it's a couple of things that we need to do. One thing certainly is going to be going to our settings and we have to go and turn on NFC. And this is not essential and if you have an Android phone and obviously if you have an iPhone that doesn't have NFC um, you can set up using uh, Wi-Fi Direct. But the idea of this is this is supposed to be nice and simple to get set up so hopefully that's true. So I've installed the application. I've turned on the camera. As you can see the lens has popped out. Um, and we can use this as a standalone camera by the way. We don't have to use that. Um, albeit that we don't have a viewfinder but we can um, zoom in and zoom out. And if we put in a memory card, which obviously I haven't done, but I can, and that's why that's making that noise, but I can just sort of like do a random sort of point and shoot. And that is a dual press button, so a focus and a shoot. Um, I can just, you know, randomly aim and take pictures and I don't actually need a phone if I don't want to, but obviously without a viewfinder that's going to be uh, a bit difficult. So we've got NFC and somewhere on the back of the HTC One we have the NFC sensor. In theory, I should just be able to bring the two together. There we go. I've got the right place, so agree. It's launched, as you can see, the Play Memory is mobile, it's connecting for me. I don't have to worry about the Wi Fi passwords and passkeys and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I'm searching for the network and stuff. So, in theory, hopefully, this is going to work straight away. It is saying connecting. Uh, hopefully, it will. And there we are connected. Wow. Yay. And we got there. So, let me bring this around into landscape. So, Obviously this is live, as you can see there. Yep. So that's over the shoulder. I turn around. See the camera. And there's an orientation sensor in the camera, as you can see there. If I turn the camera around. So that's pretty cool. And um it's very live. I mean I'm moving the camera. There's not much lag there, not much delay. Um, I'm shooting 4-3 uh, aspect ratio, 18 megapixels. It's telling me I don't have a memory card installed. If I pop that down just there and reach out the camera here, I can zoom in and further. I'll zoom out. I can take a picture. And it transfers to the phone and into the normal place where you store um, pictures on the phone. So there we go, it's on the phone. And we've got choices that we can make here, which is pretty good. So uh, we can copy from connected device. 
Yeah, and that means that if we've got photos on the memory card on the uh, QX10, we can copy them down to the phone if we haven't done so already. Uh, we can use a self timer, we can change the image size. So we can change the aspect ratio to 16 by 9 and it drops us down to 30 megapixels. Uh, we can 5 megapixel or 2 megapixel mode. Uh, in terms of other settings, we can save uh, size of the review image. So the review image that we're transferring to the actual um, phone. Um, I'll just change to 18 megapixel. So obviously it takes a little bit longer. Oh, it's not taking much longer to transfer. So I'm now taking a full frame, full rate or full uh, size image from the uh, QX10 onto the phone. Um, or I can just use 2 megapixel. That's the choice I have. I mean, if you're going to be sharing these online um, over over um, an internet connection, then certainly you might want to switch that to back to 2 megapixel. No, not that. Switch that back to um, a... Where are we? Where was that setting? Save options. There we go. Size of review image. Uh, change that back to um, 2 megapixel instead of uh, 18. We'll leave it where it is for the moment. Um, so that's kind of it. Uh, we can also do video, um, which is there. To change the setting, I think. One of these. Uh, we've got intelligent auto, superior auto, and program auto modes. Um, just try and find out how we change the mode. There we go. Change it to movie mode. And in movie mode, we can obviously record video. And uh, I don't know where we got the settings for for that. I would have thought they were here. Close, no. And turn the controls on and off. Certainly would have thought we would have had some camera controls there for movie modes, but uh, I can't see them just at the moment. Doesn't seem to be much in terms of settings we can control. Maybe not. No. Oh well. Anyway, you kind of get the idea. We switch back to photo. And uh, that's our wide camera. So, as I say, that's, uh, I'm quite impressed with how live the images are. And, uh, a nice little ooh, funky tunnel. Um, yeah, it works very well. So, this is uh, QX10. Uh, in terms of the rest of the spec, well, it's got a G series, Sony G series lens on it, 10 times optical zoom. Um, the, it's got an aperture of f3.3 to f8, so that's not too bad. Built-in uh, optical image stabiliser, so uh, help you to steady your shots out when you're using it handheld. Uh, intelligent auto modes, uh, we've got macro, low light, backlight, motion modes, multipoint autofocus. We work at ISO 100 to 1280. We've got the Bion's image uh, processor on board as well, which is pretty impressive. Uh, 10 times optical zoom, we've mentioned 10, uh, 18 megapixel um, uh, Exmor R CMOS sensor, 1080p video recording, there we go, that's our setting, 1080p video recording at 30 frames a second, captured in MP4, uh, one touch connection via NFC we obviously demonstrated, and we're using Wi Fi Direct in order to actually get the images from uh, camera to phone. 630 milliamp hour battery that we've seen in there. Um, is good for approximately 225 shots apparently and it does charge over the micro USB that we've seen in there as well. Uh, finally, size, uh, I'll just close it all up. The size when it's closed up like so is basically you've got 62.5mm in diameter, 30mm um, deep and it weighs 105 grams. Pretty lightweight, light, lighter than practically any other camera lens that I have in my arsenal, certainly from uh, Nikon or um, Canon. Um, flexible enough that you can just pop it in your pocket. And if you're travelling on a holiday, that's probably a good solution um, for actually taking your pictures and doing stuff away. Um, compressive little lens. We'll have a review for you over the next few uh, few days. Take plenty of pictures with this lens and compare them. Um, I think certainly to the camera that we have in the HTC One, which is obviously a four-megapixel ultra-pixel camera. 
um, and while we're about it we'll probably compare them to the one the pictures that we have from our Nexus 5 um, and we'll take some comparison shots side by side so you can actually compare for yourself so as I say this has been the Sony QX10 um, if you want to follow us on Twitter please do so twitter.com slash Tracy and Matt or facebook.com slash Tracy and .co.uk and also find the rest of our videos on YouTube a channel named Leo D L E O D W E, or on Google Plus it's plus Leo D plus L E O D W E. Um, you can find us on there that will have uh, notifications of upcoming events we've got a couple uh, at the moment so you can join us in a hangout on air on our via our Google Plus channel page I should say um, so you can check us out there so that you can join in on our podcast um, which we're going to do our hangouts on air so that's next Tuesday and on every subsequent Wednesday uh, you can check out the Mobile Tech Addicts and Retro Tech Addicts podcast uh, but anyway I'll be back soon with some more videos and reviews on tracyandmat.co.uk but for now thanks for watching <laughs>